Or if you bring up Muhammad's assassinations, you'll hear, well, there's violence in the Old Testament too. But I have to say that these aren't answers. In fact, in logic, this approach is considered a fallacy. It's called the two quoque. The two quoque works like this. Suppose you catch me lying. Suppose you catch me lying and you say, David, you just told a lie. And I say, well, you've lied too. You see the problem? Even if it's true that you've lied, it wouldn't change the fact that I lied. And so that's why this is a fallacy. Similarly, if the historical records tell us that Muhammad ordered his followers to torture a man for money, Muslims can't simply say, ah, but there are bad things in the Bible. That's not an answer. It's true that there are some tough, tough, tough passages in the Bible, and Christians need to be able to give answers for these passages. But uh, the point remains. Um, Zucker says, I have to respond to the biblical problems or we just can't trust the Bible. So he, so I, I, I've responded, if I missed any, I'm sorry, uh, we're going to begin. Um, but I have to respond to these biblical problems or we can't trust the Bible. Uh, is that the method tonight? He can point out a couple problems with the Bible. If he finds a problem, if I weren't to respond to it, then we have to reject it all. We can't take any of it seriously. Is that the method? Because I really believe I could quote a few problems with the Quran and then say, therefore, we can't trust anything, any Muslim view, any Muslim claim at all uh, until he resolves these problems. I think I could quote a lot of problems really quickly. And uh, Zakir, if you'd like to challenge me on that, uh, I invite you to. They can commit what's called the two quoque fallacy. Again, the two, you commit the two quoque fallacy when instead <clears throat> of actually answering an objection, you say, well, you've got that problem. Um, for instance, if my wife says, David, you're mean, and I say, well, you've been mean too, uh, that's a fallacy. It's not, it doesn't answer the objection. Because I really believe I could quote a few problems with the Quran and then say, therefore, we can't trust anything, any Muslim view, any Muslim claim at all uh, until he resolves these problems. I think I could quote a lot of problems really quickly. And uh, Zakir, if you'd like to challenge me on that, uh, I invite you to. وَمَا ظَلَمْنَاهُمْ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا هُمُ الظَّالِمِينَ وَنَادَوْا يَا مَالِكُ لِيَقْضِ عَلَيْنَا رَبُّكَ قَالَ إِنَّكُمْ مَاكِثُونَ لَقَدْ جِئْنَاكُمْ بِالْحَقِّ ولكن أكثركم للحق كارهون There is only one God لا إله إلا الله سبحان الله والحمد لله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله والله أكبر